Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial session on LaTeX. In this video, I am going to show you how to align equations in LaTeX. So we are going to look at how to center our equations and also how to left align our equations. Now the equations, you can have it this way, that's unnumbered, or you can also add numbers. So I'm going to show you all these things and then we properly format our equations. All right. Once we are done with this, you can replace these equations with your own equations and prepare your own LaTeX document. So let's get started. So I'll first open my LaTeX environment, which is here on the left side here, and then we proceed. And by the way, you can also run LaTeX online. So I have an introductory video that shows you how to set up LaTeX and also how to use the online version. So just check the description box, you'll find a link to that video. This will be useful for those who are beginners so those who are new into LaTeX. All right, so there's my LaTeX file. I'm going to prepare my documents. I'll say slash document class. I'll use 10 PT article. Okay, 10 PT, that means that it's a font size of 10. Let me just do it again for the sake of beginners. So I'll do this. So I'll do it again. So I'll say slash document class. And take note when you are preparing your LaTeX commands, you should take note if there's a red highlight like this, then that means there's something wrong. All right. So here I have slash document class 10 PT, that's 10, font size of 10 article. Then I'll use a math package. So I say slash use package. It's arms math. That's what I'm going to be using. Then I'll say slash begin documents slash end document. All right. Then in between, I'll be putting my equations. Okay. So this is the bare minimum we need to get started. Now, how do we align our math equations? So I've prepared a series of steps, three steps here. Just Follow them and you'll be fine. So first of all, we need to use the align slash FL align. So we either center it or left align. So this and this I use. Align is for centered. FL align is for left centered. Okay, left aligned. Let me just put it that way. All right. And then you define your equations and you insert the limiters and line breaks these are important okay so just these three steps and you'll be fine so let's get back to latex all right so first of all let's look at a generic one here generic equation here i'll just do this and then we proceed let's look at a generic equation now for a generic equation where you just want to center without any alignment we can use the gather environment so we say slash begin gather slash and gather and we we'll put in our equations all right so here the first equation let's look at the pdf here these are the equations so we have 2x plus y equals 20 we have 2 3x plus y equals 30 30. And then we have a plus b plus c equals 15. All right. Now that is for the gather. Now, if we run this, let's look at the preview. That's what you get. It's bundled up just like this, and it's given equation one. And so, if you want to make sure they all have their numbers. Or if you want, if you want to tell it, these are all individual equations. We bring line breaks. Okay, so just before you enter in, in another equation, you put in your line breaks. So for example, if it's just one like this, and you run, let me just put it this way: no space. If you run, okay, with just one equation, it's fine. Now, if you're adding another equation, then you bring your double slash here, space double slash. That's how I right and in the next line i put in my equation 
And then because I'll add another equation, there should be a line break for this one as well. And then I put in my last equation, which is this. So be equals to. Now the last one, you don't need the slash, the double slash, because that's the last one. So there's no need to bring any line break. And then we run it. So when we do it, that's what we are going to get. It's going to center our equations for us, which is great. Now, if we are dealing with equations of uneven length, then let's look at what is happening. You will notice the equal sign for these two, they are fine, similar length. But when you come here, look at where the equation is. The equal sign, rather, the equal sign symbol. Look at where it is. Look at where this is. Okay, so they are not aligned. And this is where the align environments come in handy because we can use that to align all these and then put our equations in a way which is uh, properly formatted. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. Now, let's clear this and then start the exercise. Okay, so that's what just by the way. So we will... Yeah, and by the way, so let me just go back before we start. So you notice the equations here, they are numbered. Now, if you don't want them to be numbered, you just bring your star here with a gada star. So when you do it this way, then the equation numbers are going to be removed. So take note of that. So anyway, for more information on equations, you can also contact me. All right. Okay, good. Now let's start with the align. You will begin with the center. Now, if you are going to use a line and place your equations in the center, at the center, you are going to center them. Then we use the align environment, which is this one. And so what we do is to say slash begin align slash and align and then you put in your equations that's the first step all right now i also made mention you insert line breaks and you also insert what delimiters now let's put in our equations first so first equation 2x plus y equals 20 second equation 3s plus y equals 30 Third equation a plus b plus c equals 15. Now for every pair of equation, we put in a line break. So this and this we bring a line break. And here also bring a line break. And we also need to bring a delimiter. Alright. So the delimiter is also very, very important. And that's what I want us to focus on here. I want to explain so that you can apply the same principle in your data sets. All right. So let's look at this. I will clear this again and just maintain this. And then we will add them later. So this is our first equation. And we have all these. Now, if I want to align, now we are doing center. We need to align both sides of the equation. So that means both sides of the equal symbol, equal sign, we need to align them. So we need to place in the limiters that LaTeX can use to align both sides of the equation so that we can have them uh, perfectly aligned. Okay. So on the left hand side, where the expression ends, we put in the end. The limiter and so here what we are actually doing as a matter of fact is we are actually putting it into columns that's what you need to take note here all right but for simplicity sake let's just use the left and right okay now on the left hand side of the equation we put our delimiter end and then at the on the right hand side at the end of that equation also we put in our end symbol it can even be here, that's fine. Okay. At the end of that expression, so if there was something else, let's say plus two g or one eight or something like that, it's after that expression, at the end of that expression, that's what we put in, just like here we have here. 
So on the left hand side, the expression ends here. And that's why we put in here. So here, if there was another expression here, it's after that expression that we put the end here. And then because there's going to be another equation, we bring our double slash to indicate a line break. Then the next line, we say 3x plus y and equals 30. And, and because there's going to be another line break, we bring it here and then enter our next equation, which is a plus b plus c and equals 15. All right, so this becomes it. And so here, it's up to you to decide how you want it to be. So if you want the alignment to be done for other places, you need to put in your end. So here, this is just an example, but you can also try and see if you can put others somewhere here and then see. But this one should get you started. You can try putting in, in other places as well. All right. Now, here's what you get. So you will notice that all the delimiters are just before the equal sign. So that means everything at the left hand side are going to be what in quote one column. And then we have the equal sign and we also have this one here. All right. So that's what we are going to do. Let's just run it and see what we get. There shouldn't be any space here, so I'll remove those spaces. Okay, so now you see what we have here. Okay, so these are what properly aligned. They are nicely arranged. Okay. So that's what you have. Now, if you, are, if you wanted to put another one, let's just see this. Let's see if this one will work. Let's run it and see. Okay, you see what is happening also. So something else has also happened. Okay, if let's say I was to change it to this one, let's see. You see what has happened. Okay, so one, two, three. All those have been aligned. And then the second one, two, have been aligned and the third one because here is three there's nothing there that's what happens and then all those after the equal sign also have also been aligned properly all right so here uh, you can decide how you want the alignment to be based on the input you have but for this very equation uh the one i thought would be appropriate is to just use one on the left side of the equation and then one on the right side of the equation just to put them um, in a proper alignment all right but you can also do for others as well okay so it's just a matter of you knowing where to put in those delimiters that is the most important thing here okay so how you put it that one i'll leave it to you all right now i'll click on this just to run it and I think this one actually looks better for me. But then it's up to you to decide how you want it to be. All right. So you take note of that. Okay. So let's proceed. So this is what for the centered. And you see that the equations are numbered. So if you don't want the equations to be numbered, then you bring your star then you run it and then the equation numbers are going to be removed all right i will undo it and then run to get the equation numbers back all right now if for one of them you don't want it to be numbered then you have to move it to a different block all right so for example this one if you don't want it numbered you could just cut it and then place it in another block Let's say align star and then I'll put it here and I'll run it. 
there shouldn't be any space okay so i'll just do it this way great so now they are all center centered but then this one we don't want it numbered and so we have to place it in another block so they'll all be centered and then those that we want them to be numbered will also be here which is also here so this gives us something very nice okay for aligning our equations and by the way for those who want the latex files to uh, you can subscribe to my patreon channel the one dollar patreon channel for the latex files okay so this is for the center now the same principle is what we use for the f align okay the same principle that we use so that will give us the left aligned and so that means instead of the white align all that I have to do is to change it to FL. So here I'll just say FL align, FL align, and make sure that when you're using FS, FL align, you make sure the other blocks also have the same. Or just to put it, let's just recreate it so that we, we also practice. I think I'll just do it here. So instead of align, what we do is to we say, slash begin fl align slash end fl align then we put in so i'm just going to copy this the content in it will be the same because we want the same format so that one remains the same let's just see good so this one for example Will be left aligned so if you run it you will notice it's here okay so that one is here left aligned okay and this one here so you notice the difference so this is left and then this is centered all right so again if you don't want a numbered equation all that I have to do is to add a star to it and then you'll be fine. But of course, I'll be making more tutorials on LaTeX equations and stuff. So uh, just stay tuned. All right. So sometimes to, you may want to reproduce the equations of a paper or an article. And so I'll also be looking at how to reproduce equations that are in articles so that you can prepare your own LaTeX document with that. For those who want separate tutorials on LaTeX, you can also contact me my email address is in the description box all right so that'll be all for this tutorial and i'll see you in the next session